Okay, hello everybody. We're back with the final YouTube video because everybody was like, oh, make another YouTube video, please, please, please. We weren't really feeling it, but you know, we love you so much. So here's another one. And we have one special request, and that was how to cut and especially groom a teddy boy rock and roll elephant trunk jelly roll pompadour quiz. Frank has got a quiff. In England, which is where the teddy boy culture comes from, they call it the quiff. So um, here we go. I got my model Arjen here. He has beautiful hair. We're going to go through it a little bit faster than normal. Okay, so there are a lot of versions of your uh, teddy boy quiff, but you got to understand that back in the days, these rock billy guys, these Teddy boys, they did not have faded sides and everything. So I'm really gonna leave it a little bit longer today. Even gonna leave a little bit of a mullet to make it look even dirtier. And I can tell you one thing, the Teddy boys, they were a dirty breed, they were dangerous. So it's gotta be a dangerous haircut. A little dirty, a little greasy, a little nasty. So here we go. Um, there's a lot of ways to cut one of these. I wanna keep it a little bit longer. I'm going to show you both how to do it with clippers as well as scissors. So I want to keep a lot of length, lifting this all up, setting in my baseline as usual. Now by lifting all that hair up, you're going to save length in the nape area, which will be our mullet. Make sure that you move along with your baseline. Move around, move around, pretty much the same way as I do all my haircuts. Whether they're pompadours, slick back, the baseline for me is always the most important thing. See, look down for that baseline. Now, for those who wonder, oh my god, what is the fancy white clippers? Bevelis. The Rob, the original signature white bevelless clippers. As you can tell, I'm really looking at the hair I already cut. Now, if you did your job right, what has happened is this. See? Length in the back, length on the sides. But when you check your sectioning, see, you did your perfect straight lines. Keeping length, this is the whole trick. See, perfect. Or as Lawrence did in our razor faded pump doer video, perfect, perfect. Yeah, straight lines, boom, 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 length, length, length. Yeah, you should be able to slick it back into that mullet. Yes, this is going to be really nice. So you can wear it in either a DA, a Ducks, quack quack, arse, or your traditional mullet flipping outside a little bit, which I like better. It's a little dirtier. Okay, next section. Yeah, widest point of the skull, highest point of the skull. Taking a section here, taking a section in that triangle about as wide as your comb, and we're going to loosely connect that section using a little bit of point cutting. Yeah, the hair is quite thick, so that's why I use a little bit of point cutting. I want some texture. Yeah, white teeth of my comb. Yeah, shortest line, short line. Following the natural shape of the hair. Plum, plum, plum. Yeah, move along your model or client. You want to keep length, guys. A teddy boy is not about short hair. We really want to keep some length. On the other hand, this is just the guideline. If you got a completely different technique, please be my guest. Because, as always, I'm not here to tell you this is the best or the only way. Please, do it whatever way you like. For me, and I've been doing these for a long time, 
This is my favorite technique. See? Ah, yeah. Right behind your work, yeah. Because when you're right behind your work, you pull your sections to the middle of your rib cage, right? Because you want to make straight lines. You want to stay in control throughout the haircut, yeah. Using the crown as a pivot, moving around. The hair still pulling it straight out of the skin. Crown as a pivot, little step. Little step, see, not much hair coming off. But I am gonna check till I reach the middle of the skull. There we go. Okay. For my next section, gonna move into the front. Yeah? So I'm gonna follow, see my first section here was following the natural implant. Now I'm gonna follow the natural implant, see that other line in the temple area. Taking out a triangle in the front, which I'm gonna save till later. That's gonna be my jelly roll, yeah? Within this triangle left, I'm gonna take a section about as wide as my comb, all down. Again, position yourself right behind your work. Make sure you comb it through neatly. Still working with the white teeth of my comb. Very important because I don't want to have too much tension on the hair. I want to follow the natural shape of the hair. See the leave in length? So slick those sides back. Yeah, leaving length and weight to keep my haircut square and masculine yeah boom another section yeah boom see I work with a lot of control but on the other hand I don't want to have straight heavy lines. I want the hair to be able to move. This is not your usual pompadour or flat top where every hair has to be in place. This quiff has to look like he had a hard night out of town. Uh, this is a haircut that should breathe the smell of whiskey in a long night. See? Length. Now, you can always check the shape of your haircut with water, yeah? Because the water is gonna pretty much do exactly the same that my grease is gonna do once in a while. Yeah? So, we got our length. Length, going into the back, see, we can... Go for your DA, yeah, or for our traditional mullet. It's gonna be fucking awesome. One triangle left, section. See, in the hairline, elongate that section. So you got your previous cut length on the sides. Lift, connect. Lift. Connect. See? Switch position. Connect. Boom. Next section. And we're pretty much going to repeat what we did with the previous section. See, lift, length and weight. See, length, take it off. Now, the trick is, if you want to do heavy point cutting, make sure that the hair is flat on your fingers. 
Yeah, look at where the blades of the scissor meet each other because that is where you take off your length. See, so you go in deep, but you kind of want to create texture. You definitely want to take away a little bit of length. Yeah, but you want the hair to move. This really is a perfect technique when you got hair that is a little heavier. I mean, Aryan has the best hair in Rotterdam, I can tell you this. But I have to treat it in a special way to make that hair work. If I do not, if I would just cut everything really, really super blunt, the hair literally goes like boom. So you gotta know where to take some weight out. Yeah? Okay, this is a very fast way. See, my haircut is pretty much already there. Yeah? That's a fast way of working. Okay. Move to the other side. I'm gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna probably speed up the video a little bit in the bewerking. Uh, <laughs> little Dutch. <laughs> little Dutch here. Right? Normal, eh? I understood this. Like you understood it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know, man, in the bewerking. Uh, in the, the bewerking. Be <laughs> yes. Yeah? So. I'm going to follow my natural implant again, exactly the same as I did on the other side. Duh. Yeah. See, natural implant, follow that natural implant. Yes, saving on cool hair until later. I'm going to grab my super fancy, fancy, rob the original Babelist clippers. And do exactly the same as the other side. So, yeah, we're gonna speed this up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, in the mullet, we're just gonna kind of take away a little bit of length to make it easier to manage, yeah? You want to keep a straight line because you want this mullet to be full. It's a manly haircut. It's not this fancy, fancy, oh, look at me. No, this is like your serious, true mullet, yeah? So we want to keep it a little heavy. Comb it all down. You want a heavy line, you cut the hair as close to the skin as possible. The moment you lift it, you're gonna get graduation. We don't want graduation, we want weight. We want the hair to hang down here. Yeah? So you follow the implant. You can always do a little bit of point cutting to accentuate that shape. Yeah, same story on the other side. Lay it down where it wants to go. You don't want to force it into a direction it doesn't want to go. Yes, okay, we're gonna to go to the most important part of the Teddy Boy General Quiff, which is the blow drying, right? See, the thing is, if I would put a uh, comb it in it now, I could already comb it into a super nice uh, pompadour, right? See, you got your classic line, boom, 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 yeah. But of course, you wanna have the jelly roll, which is grooming, guys, it's blow drying, yeah? So, I'm gonna take my vent brush here. The hair is still a little bit greasy. I kind of like that. I'm going to start by blow drying it without product just to see where, where the hair wants to go. What's going to be the easiest way to blow dry? Then when I'm halfway through and I can see the direction it wants to go, I'm probably going to add a little bit of groom tonic or uh, fiber gel or whatever product you're comfortable with with blow drying. Yeah? So, um, vent brush. 
But whether you want to use a nozzle is very, very personal. I prefer t to use one. There's a lot of people, like Lane, for example, who hates using a nozzle. It's up to you. Do whatever you want. Yeah? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a nozzle. I put the blow dryer pretty hot. It's really thick hair. I'm going to move my blow dryer fast so I'm not going to burn uh, my client's skin. Or at least, I'll try. So, when the, when the hair is half dry, I'm going to add a little bit of product, right? I can see the direction the hair is going right now. So, I'm going to add a little bit of grooming tonic to give it a little bit more hold. Some people uh, want to know about our new Ruzel uh, grooming tonic spray and why I'm not using that. To be honest, as much as I love the spray, uh, it's a little bit more of a lighter hold. So this one sometimes is a little bit harder to get evenly through the hair, but it's just got a little, little bit more hold if you want to have some height in your uh, pump. Room. So, when you're drying the hair, it's really important when you go through with your brush that you really look at where the hair wants to go. Yeah, not every hair is suitable to do your teddy boy roll on, right? So, the, the biggest trick is to get that little curl in. How does that work? You want to lift the hair at the roots, you grab it with your brush, you heat it up, and the most important thing is you let it cool down before you pull your brush out. That is pretty much a trick. So what you're going to do is two rolls that roll into each other. And that's going to create your jelly roll. Yeah? So heat, cool down. Heat, cool down. Cool down. And set in that shape. Volume. Cool down. That's how you build it up. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so you got your vent brush. Yeah, this is my base. You can already see the shape emerge. If you know how to use it, don't be afraid to take a round brush. You don't have to go all hair dress free, like, but to give it a little bit extra direction, it's actually a pretty easy tool. And again, heat it up, cool it down. Yeah, so take a section. Heat, let it cool down. That is really the trick. You want to pull it out so you get a little. Yeah? Easy as that.
So you can definitely tell the shape of your jelly roll, right? And again, the trick is all in the drying and especially working with heat, even more important, cooling down. This is something a lot of people forget, right? You want the hair to be able to cool down. Now, you can already see this is a pretty, pretty cool shape, right? I'm gonna slick this back gel you know I really want to look at look at me right? I do want to check my mullet shape here yeah no pretty full but still you kind of want to look for bulk take that out Double check your line point. Double check your lines, kind of blending this in. See these fenders, everybody always thinks that everybody has to be, everything has to be straight lines and you gotta double check it. But I can tell you one thing, the Teddy Boys back in the days, I think 50% of them, they cut their own hair. You don't have to do, that's sometimes it makes or breaks the hair. See, so you just kind of want to keep this a little dirty. See, you want to, Kind of blend that in, yeah. And I don't really know yet how I'm gonna wear that back area because I kind of like it like this too. See, a really dirty DA, but of course, just like going for the more dirty, greasy mullet, it's gonna work too. Yeah, we can do both. But the thing is. Real teddy boy hair has to look like you don't give a fuck. Now, weird thing with a lot of rockabillies and punk rockers, yeah, they're all about, oh, I don't care, man. I don't care about anything. Well, I can tell you one, these are the most vain motherfuckers there are. They spend a lot of time to kind of look like they don't give a fuck, yeah? But the shape of the hair is gonna do a lot of the work. Within that basic shape, you can use whatever technique you want take out bulk and kind of, you know, accentuate your cut. But again, don't make it too fancy, right? You want the hair to be able to move. So it has to be a good haircut. And when he doesn't want to go for the jelly roll, I still want it to be a perfect pompadour when he combs it straight back. Yeah? So the shape of the haircut has to be perfect, but definitely it. A little dirty. Taking out a little weight in the middle here. To put some more accents on the jelly roll. Yeah. Now, one of the other tricks that a lot of these guys use is to actually part the hair here, bring all this hair forward and kind of comb all of this around it, see, so you got your, you kind of, they kind of filled it up, see, especially when your hair was a little finer, it would fill up, see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you would fill up your jelly roll, see with the hair that's coming from here, yeah, and so, it's important that you know your classics. You cannot just take a teddy boy with out of some magazine or whatever and just kind of copy. You gotta understand how the shapes of these haircuts work, right? So take a look at the lobby here. Fiber gel. Easy to wash out. When you use it on those fenders, make it look very, very, very nasty, see? And I want it to be slicked back. Take your comb and your blow dryer, you set it to pretty hot. 
you're gonna see lock. Same story on the side. fiber gel is I mean it gets hard especially when you put the blow around but it's not gonna flake uh, so you can pull your comb through if you kind of want to play with it I really like to use one of these one of my favorite tools see because you can really draw into the hair shaping it the way you want now Unlike your uh, pompadours, don't don't be afraid when not every hair is exactly in place. It is a dirty rock and roll haircut. I, I, to be honest, I mean, I've done my tiny rolls and they're like perfectly shaped for photo shoots and stuff. But honestly, this. The whole idea with the jelly roll is that you got two rolls kind of going into each other. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Little DA there, little mullet. So, I don't know about you guys, but one, one, one of my favorites. I'm, I'm sure you guys are not interested in my history, but these kind of cuts, when I was like 14, 15, we had a couple of these older uh, rockabillies, the uh, teddy boys in our town. Those guys scared the living shit out of me. But I was intrigued, man, I was intrigued. The old um, the tattoos and everything. I was only 14, 15, but I was like, oh my God, these guys, you know, they breathe rock and roll, they breathe the wild lifestyle. That never really left me. I see a lot of people go like, oh, Rob is old school haircuts and the classics. Yes, I love that shit, but what I love even more is a haircut that really represents a certain walk in life, a certain rock and roll, right? A haircut that tells a story, a, te a haircut that has history, but above all, a haircut that really, really fits the wearer. And the Teddy Boy, Jelly Roll with oh man, there is not a haircut with more attitude than this one. So I hope you had a good time. If you had a good time, please leave a comment down here, right? We didn't make a lot of YouTube videos legally because, well, I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of not so nice people in there that think that their horrible opinion is really valuable to people in life. So please, if you like what we're doing, say something nice. See you next time, bye-bye. Of dom toch af.